So this is my daily analysis on gold, GBP USD, and Euro USD. So this is what I'm looking out for for this trade pair today. So this is for our time frame on gold. So this is for our, for our time frame. You can see that we are still somehow in uptrend on gold and this level is very good with the change of character which didn't take it out has not done the change of character but you can see that it's forming higher high lower high and higher low and lower low so you can see what is forming there so this is the this is sign of okay i'm going down it's kind of sign of okay want to drop because it's forming higher high lower low so all this so now this is what i'm looking at for today i'm looking at i'm thinking of selling good yeah i'm thinking of selling it but it depends what i will see next on good because you can see this zone good already taken out this low here which coming back to retest it can drop this market more further down but you might not expect it to get to this particular level so all this shadow here these shadows it might reject on these shadows you are seeing here it might reject on these shadows you are seeing here because it might not get exactly to this level so this is what <clears throat> i'm looking at for on 15 minutes time frame let it go get into this boss so I, will, I would like you to take out this high because here now people call it dollar some people call it as an area of favor or what is they call fair zone and some people call it dollar because some people that are sold good somewhere here in, in anywhere from here their surplus will be here so this good and taking out this side means that you have taken out people's here they call it inducement before it will draw and the people call, call it stop loss hunt so i would like you to get into this boss then i will look for double top then let it come out come back and take out the low of the double top which is something like this they come back and retest then i will sell from here and this is what I'm expecting. This is what I'm expecting from good. For him to buy and take out this high and those, but it might see take out, it might not take out this one, but let it just come into this boss. At least let it still buy up. I believe that if we take out this one, because already some people are selling from here. That's why it's ranging. This range you are seeing here. So people that sold anywhere from here, their supposed will be above here. So spiking up is taking them out. And they again sparking up is also inducement for some people. My so it has broken this level that is going to continue buying, and some people might buy from here. So dropping down still means that induce them to buy this, which is not going up. So that's what I would do. I would I would love it to come into somewhere here, then give me the whole bottom, then break it, then how take sell. So this is what I'm looking at for good or what I'm expecting to happen to be something like this. Then target one to two. Guys, let's target one to two because yesterday I kind of made the mistake of <clears throat> okay. When I get to GPU is there and Euro use, I will explain. So we target one to two guys. So this is what I'm looking at for good right now. But if you have more data, say, if you have more data and I see new development that makes me want to buy good, I will let you guys know as well. I'll post it on my Telegram channel. So kindly join my Telegram channel and subscribe. So if anything, if any dev development happen or if I see more data, that's kind of show me that okay gold is going up i'll keep you guys posted
So this is GBP USD. So this is the analysis I did yesterday. Because I told you guys yesterday that with GBP USD, take out, uh, it was here. Okay, it was here. I told you guys yesterday, if GBP USD, take out this, uh, I think is this level, yeah? Yes, if you take out this level yesterday. Oh, am I confused? <laughs> Sorry, guys, is this zone? So, I told you guys, if you use it to as in, take out this level yesterday, after we sell, which it did, and our stop loss was somewhere here, then. It gave us almost one to one before the release news yesterday. But it gave us one to one as it traced back to our entry. Then, when the release news yesterday, it then spiked down and hit it one to two, then reject back, still come back again. So I made money from this trade yesterday, but it didn't take me out. No, it didn't take me out. So, this is how the GPUSD yesterday played out. Thank God. <laughs> we end up in profit on GPUSD yesterday. So, this is what I'm looking at for today. You can see that it's still on this season zone. Market is already into the zone back. And you can see all this support. The CPI rejected from somewhere here yesterday. So, market is already into this boss again. So this is what I'm expecting to happen now before I say GBP USD again. I would like GBP USD to take out this level and retest back. Then I sell. Target one to two guys. So this is what I'm looking at for how we sell it here. My stop will be above here, which is around 18 pips or 19 pips. Let's just put it, well, let's just give it some, a little bit space. Let's just say 18 pips. Then target 1 to 2, which is this low. Which is this low. So this is what I'm expecting on GP USD to do. Then I will sell it today. You can see that it's already into this boss again. It's our previous resistant level. So it's already into it again. So if you take out this low, I will sell. If you take out this low and reject, I will sell and target one to two guys. So this is what I'm expecting on GP USD. So this is Euro USD. So let me explain to you guys what happened yesterday. So the same analysis that this yesterday does. If I saw any double top on euro USD, I will take it. You can see what happened here. It went back, drop, and go back again. You can see all this level that is dropping here. Mohammed double top. But well, you know this is smaller time frame. So when you drop when you drop all this and take it out somewhere, let me see from this shadow. I didn't take the trade immediately, so I waited for it to take out this low for me to be sure that it really wants to drop, which I saw somewhere here. And it went up almost hitting our, it was somewhere here at this zone before the release known as the CPI yesterday. And this CPI is flushed down, roughly hitting one to two, but it didn't get one to two. Then it turned back at this 1.8.5. So it roughly hit 1 to 2, but it didn't hit 1 to 2 before it turned back and reject and take, take us out. That's what happened there yesterday. Take us out here because it was fast. It took us out somewhere here. Sorry, guys. It took us out somewhere here. When it rejected, so that's what you know, USD did yesterday. But thank God that I recovered what I lost here from 
GBP USD and I made profit yesterday from the from my trade because I took the GBP USD and Euro USD. So GBP USD I caught one to two and GBP USD end up giving taking back whatever I give to Ross and take us at times rejected back and come back to the same zone again. But that what it is what it is that's forest trading for you. So this is what happened there yesterday. So today, actually, I'm not really looking at anything here. It's confusing for me. It's not really set up. It's not really done what I really wanted to do because if you look at this four hours time frame, it has not really set up anything for me. It keeps rejecting. See all these shadows, it's rejecting from this zone. But I told you guys on Monday that it will start buying from this zone. If you look for buy from this zone, well, because of what I let us saw, that's the one I took the sell. But you can see the shadow is dropping. I'm sure that this Euro USD might keep moving up, but I don't know. So for now, for this Euro USD, I'm not doing anything. I'm not taking any trade here. So. Is neutral for now, so let's see what it will do today or tomorrow. Let's get more data to, so we can be able to analyze it very well. So for now, it's neutral for me. I'm not doing anything, but if, if there is any development later, guys, I'll keep you guys posted. So the pay I'm looking at to sell today is gold and GBP USD. So these two pairs I'm looking at to sell when the confirmation completes, guys. So take note of this. Stay safe, stay safe and God bless, guys.